It's time for Ask the Tech Guy. This week, email encryption. This, this is Twit. Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Our question from Ruchi Rice this week. I enjoy watching a variety of Twitch shows. Love that you've added Ask the Tech Guy. Here's my question. It's a simple one. Does email encryption software also encrypt attachments? Sincerely, Ruchi Rice. Ruchi, the short answer is yes. Thanks for joining us on Ask the Tech Well, all right, I'll explain a little bit more. Email encryption is a hot topic because when you send an email, it's like sending a postcard. Anybody along the way, and most email passes through a number of servers on its way to your recipient, anybody along the way can read your email. Modern email systems like Gmail try to encrypt it, and if you're sending from Gmail to a Gmail user, your data will stay on Gmail's, the Google servers, and be encrypted the entire time. But that's not always the case. So a lot of us, to make our email more private, use email encryption, a scrambling technology that makes it possible to send email without anybody but the recipient reading it. My favorite is Open PGP or GNU Privacy Guard, G-N-U-P-G. These are open source versions of an old technology called Pretty Good Privacy created by my friend Phil Zimmerman, must be 20 years ago now. It's not easy to use uh, PGP or its open source variants because you have to have it on your machine. Your recipient has to have it on their machine. They have to have your public key in order to send you encrypted email. You have to keep a private key in order to decrypt the email. Already you can see it's a complicated system. But if you've figured it out, and maybe sometime I'll do an Ask the Tech Guy about setting up uh, GNU Privacy Guard. Probably the best way, if you're really curious and you'd like to do it, get a desktop email client that supports GNU Privacy Guard, GPG. And then if you're on Windows, go to gpg4win.org. You see the address right there. If you're on Macintosh, go to gpgtools.org. You can read the instructions. They have pretty good tutorials, and they'll help you encrypt your email. In both cases, to answer your question, Ruchi, in both cases, these tools will encrypt the attachments. But I should point out, there is a flaw, kind of an essential flaw, in all of these GPG tools. While nobody can read your actual message, nobody can read the attachment, it's encrypted. You don't have to, but that's usually the default setting in any one of these tools, is to encrypt the attachment as well as uh, the body of the message. What's not encrypted is who you're sending email to and, in most cases, the subject line. So if there is somebody spying on you, they'll know who you email, and they'll be able to read your subject line. So if you are sending encrypted messages, make sure that subject line doesn't have anything important in it. Maybe just leave it blank. That'll help uh, protect your privacy a little bit more. They're good tools. I like them. I recommend them. And yes, attachments are encrypted to answer your question. Ask the Tech Guy every week. A new question and a new answer. If you've got a question, email asktheTechGuy at twit.tv. We'd be glad to answer it if we have time. We also encourage you to subscribe because there's a new show every week. Easiest way to do this, of course, go to our website, twit.tv slash subscribe. Find your favorite podcast application and uh, subscribe to the show. We do have shows available for download at twit.tv slash ATG. Or you can watch us on YouTube the Ask the Tech Guy channel on YouTube.com. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time on Ask the Tech Guy. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass. All you have to do is remember your master password, and LastPass remembers the rest. LastPass now offers uh, some really cool new features with their business lineup. LastPass Enterprise includes something they call single sign-on technology, over 1,200 pre-integrated apps. Then there's LastPass MFA, which goes beyond standard two-factor authentication by using biometrics, things like fingerprint and face ID, and factors like geolocation. LastPass Identity is a combination of the two. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. That's lastpass.com slash twit. That's it for Ask the Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. We'll see you next time. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv.